Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, we're learning more about the young victim of a weekend crash in Madison County. An Eastern Kentucky store will be closed this morning after a massive rock slide damaged it. And three people have been injured after a fall at the Red River Gorge. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you from WKYT. We hope you had a nice weekend, and here you are ready to go on Monday, the 28th of September. <laughs> I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Getting there. <laughs> yeah, getting One it. step You're at a time. You're going to get there. That's One right. cup of coffee at a time, yeah. right? Um, but, you know, yesterday was really nice. Went on a nice little hike. There were a lot of people out there enjoying yeah. the weather. It was it's a little good. warm, but. It, it was, and uh, a night cloud yeah. cover here and there, and sunshine as well. Let's check in with Micah right now, see what the new week holds. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's going to be another warm one today. We'll be sitting in the lower eight. 80s, that humidity is way up. And that's that moisture streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico. You're going to feel it outside again today. Look at that moisture already creeping in. Just a few little blips there on the radar. It's not much to deal with, but it is there. Temperatures in the 60s. It's a pretty good feel. By the afternoon, we're going to be sitting there in the 80s. Any visibility issues? Not really. I mean, if you have some clear skies, maybe a little patchy spot here and there. But other than that, I think we're looking good. 82 by the afternoon, that is by far. And I mean by far the warmest temperature you will see there on your seven-day forecast. And I'll show you that big shot of cooler air coming up. All right, change is coming. Thank you. Let's get to the news. We are learning more about a young man killed in a Madison County crash over the weekend. We now know that the victim in that crash on Tate's Creek Road on the outskirts of Richmond was a football player at Eastern Kentucky University. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is joining us live from EKU's campus now with more. Hillary, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. That's right. We have learned the young man killed in that crash was 19-year-old Joseph Kramer, a member of the Eastern Kentucky University football team. According to their athletic department website, Joey Kramer played defensive line for the Colonels, who just before this crash had a big home win against Austin P on Saturday. Kentucky State Police responded to the crash early Sunday morning after a passerby noticed a car over an embankment on Tate's Creek Road. Troopers say there was one man inside of the vehicle when they got there, and they believe the crash had happened at some point overnight. Police are still investigating what caused Kramer to leave the roadway and then crash. Certainly a tough loss for the Colonel football team who will take to the field with heavy hearts this week as they're preparing for a big game coming up this next weekend on Saturday. They will play against UK at Commonwealth Stadium. In Richmond, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. All right, very sad to certainly yeah. have a promising life mm. snuffed out there. Well, new this morning, a rock slide in eastern Kentucky has closed a large store indefinitely. Jackson police tell us that rocks slammed into the Walmart there in town, leaving a bit of damage, as you can imagine. WKOT's Mark Barber at our live desk with a look at all of the damage. When did this all happen? Good morning, Rebecca. The rock slide slammed into the building around midnight, causing major damage. Take a look. The rock smashed into the back of the Walmart that is off of Highway 15 in Jackson. The Breathitt County store sits at the base of a ridge. It is not a 24-hour Walmart, so fortunately, there were not any customers in the store during the rock slide. A few employees were, but fortunately, no one was hurt. The Walmart would normally open in about an hour, but because there is now a 30-foot hole in the building, that is not going to happen. Walmart is bringing in a construction crew and an engineer to take a look at the damage. At this time, they do not know whether the store will open today or not. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. Dozens of people from numerous rescue crews helped save a group of hikers at the Red River Gorge. Wolf County Search and Rescue team members tell us early yesterday three hikers fell off of a cliff. We we're told the three fell about 50 feet and partially into the Red River. They were all taken to the hospital. Emergency management tells us the people were not badly, or they were badly hurt in that to fall. Two of them landed on a slope and ended up rolling toward the Red River, and both of their feet and part of their legs were in the river. By the time we got to them, they were all hypothermic and uh, severely injured and in pain. The third person was the most injured who lost her consciousness twice while we were there. Now, Hackett says alcohol may have played a role in the hiker's fall off of the cliff. Wolf, Powell, and Menifee County Rescue and uh, search teams helped rescue those three people.
STATE POLICE SAY ONE MAN HAS DIED IN A CRASH IN HARDIN COUNTY. HAPPENED AROUND 6 O'CLOCK ON THE BLUEGRASS PARKWAY NEAR ELIZABETHTOWN. TROOPERS SAY THE CRASH INVOLVED A MOTORCYCLE AND A MINIVAN. ACCORDING TO A LOUISVILLE TV STATION, THE MOTORCYCLIST DIED AT THE SCENE. THE DRIVER OF THE MINIVAN HAD TO BE RESCUED. POLICE ARE STILL TRYING TO FIGURE OUT EXACTLY WHAT CAUSED THIS CRASH. And new this morning, Boyle County deputies tell us a man was injured after an ATV crash. This happened yesterday evening around 6 at the intersection of White Oak Road and Cream Ridge near Stamping Ground. They tell us a man was trying to make a right turn when he lost control of the ATV. He was airlifted to the hospital. Authorities think that alcohol played a role in the crash. The son of country music star Eddie Montgomery has died. 19 year old Hunter Montgomery died yesterday morning at UK Chandler Hospital. Eddie Montgomery released a statement saying, quote, My son Hunter went to heaven. I appreciate all your prayers and love and thank you for giving us privacy as we grieve and say goodbye. The family has not released any information about their son's death. They only said that Hunter was on life support at UK Hospital. Well, police are investigating a shots fired case in Lexington. Police tell us the vehicle on Whispering Hills Drive was hit with bullets four times yesterday and a house was hit twice. No one was hurt, but police said the homeowner was inside at the time. Police have not arrested anyone yet. As this week marks a year since a Louisville child was stabbed to death in a park, his family and friends are making sure that he is not forgotten. On Wednesday, it will be a year since 12 year old Ray Etheridge was killed in Cherokee Park. Joseph Cambron is behind bars after police say he admitted to stabbing Ray. Ray's cousin says his family can't stand to be without him. We miss him and we love him to death, you know. I mean, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him. Police say both Ray and Cameron were homeless and had known each other for several weeks. Cameron is scheduled to face a judge next month for a pretrial conference. A nonprofit that advocates for hemp growers has begun hosting its annual conference in Kentucky. It started yesterday and lasts through tomorrow in Lexington. The conference will focus on the expansion of the industry in North America and includes a hemp farm tour. This is the first time the conference has been held in Kentucky. A happy homecoming for a young boy in Knott County. Uh, the boy is suffering from kidney disease. Brevin Portwood is home from the hospital after receiving a transplant. He's been recovering at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, but he returned home this weekend to a welcome from local firefighters as well as motorcyclists and friends and family. The 12 year old was diagnosed three years ago with kidney disease. After searching for a donor, he found out that his adoptive father, Elmer, was a perfect match. We just want to take a deep breath and, and relax for a few minutes and then look forward to the future because that's something we can do. But he seems to be doing well. The Portwood say that both Elmer and Brevin are doing just fine and looking forward to resting up at home. And I'm sure it is good for them to be back home. <laughs> and I love that the community came out to show support <laughs> oh, for him. Absolutely. Time this morning is 5.08. Good morning to you. WKYT this morning just getting started on your Monday. So a lot of you got to see a rare phenomenon last night, a supermoon combined with an eclipse. We'll take a closer look at what that looks like coming up after weather. And News Network CNN is making another step Step forward into virtual reality. We'll tell you how that's being done. It's coming up in your consumer news. Some rain on the way and also some much cooler temperatures. I'm all that coming up next.